your company? Sure, yeah, I work at Domi Station. We're kind of a home base for entrepreneurs. So we provide office space, mentors, and programs that help people start companies. How would you like students to get engaged with you? Uh, well, the companies that work at Domi are always looking for help. They're startups, so they need help all across the board, marketing, sales, tech. Uh, and so I'm always looking for students who want to get engaged in either an internship or really hands-on, part-time work with young, growing companies in town. What struggles have you seen employees go through who transition right into the workforce out of college? What struggles for students that are transitioning? Um, I think sometimes there's a disconnect between their education and hands-on work, uh, but that's why I think working with startups can be so important because they get like a real breadth of experience. Like in a startup company, everyone does everything. Uh, there's so few staff, they're under resource. So you get um, you know, exposure to a real variety of work. Uh, and so I think startups help with that transition quite a bit. What do you look for in an ideal employee? I, I want someone who's going to take a job and just run with it. They, you know, they, they come back when they need resources, but they don't come back with problems. They come back with ideas for solutions. You know, so someone who's really kind of a, a go-getter in that sense. They feel empowered to just champion something and, and run with it. What advice do you have for soon-to-be graduates going into the workforce? Provide value first is usually what I say. So most jobs or opportunities that I've gotten, it's by giving something up front. So kind of like a give before you get. Um, go out and network your butt off. Go to anything you can in the business community, mixers, happy hours, that kind of stuff. Get to know people on a real human level. And then you know provide some value to them. Write a blog post or, or make an introduction before you ask them for something. And I think that goes a long way. Okay. And one final question. Um, what are some basic requirements you look for in a resume? What do I look for in a resume? To be honest with you, I look at LinkedIn uh, more often than a resume. It's kind of a starting point. Um, so I mean, I like to see a, a breadth of experience. Um, so both like volunteering and professional experience, I think, is important extracurricular stuff, maybe a club or two, but, but someone who's not too, too wide either. You want someone who's focused um, but on certain verticals. Um, but yeah, I, I look a lot online at uh, online profiles more than anything. Okay, great, thank you.